Happy November 11th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. It is Mythic Monday, and I am thinking this moment, uh, just last Friday, when Rafex flew off with the Seed of Life. Ivy's a bird, right? <laughs> she could have easily uh, caught up with this guy, but she didn't. She kept her armor on. She kept her vow. Um, and I think in this moment, Ivy's beginning to sense the futility of this desire to punish herself for the pain that she caused her family. Here, uh, here's a moment where she might see that she isn't just hurting herself anymore. She's risking others' lives as well. So she watches Rafex fly away, and we need to figure out if she grows from this experience or not. So... Don't, this doesn't exactly mirror her issue, so we're dealing with a likely possibility that she grows from this experience. And that means we're looking at this column here. Uh, or Sorry, this row. We're going to roll two. Uh, we're going to roll D100, basically. We get a 76. Wow, that is a no. So she does not grow from this moment. So we need to interpret what that means. She watches Rafex fly away, and I think um, I think her frustration with Rafex's escape turns inward, and it fuels her anger at herself. It steals her resolve that she is not worthy of anyone's consideration or respect or admiration or love. We know that's not true, but it's what Ivy thinks about herself. So, uh, on a no, she... Your character is troubled, no change to the current fulfillment value, um, and so nothing changes here. We're still at 7 of 12 on Ivy's personal emotional quest. Okay, flashback concluded. When last we played, Ivy leveled up. She is now level 6. Uh, her stats didn't change a whole lot, but she has a new ability, Vanguard. Yeah, twice per page, uh, she can redraw a card to help activate a pet or party member's ability. So that's cool. Um, and that is where we left things. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. As the dust of the battle settles, Master Laurel and Captain Flint engage in a heated argument, each accusing the other of treason. We're going to do two things in order. Uh, first, what clues hint at the traitor, and then two, accuse a traitor. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, I didn't see this coming. I don't see any hidden icons here on the page, so... Okay, we have a fair amount of reading to do. Captain Flint is talking. How dare you simply give the evil insect the seed of life? You just stood there and handed it to him. You've been working as a mole this whole time. Why would you betray the kingdom? Betray our queen and our people. We trusted you, yelled Captain Flint. Master Laurel says, I didn't hand him the seed. Rathex took it. You are the head of security for the castle, yet we've been infiltrated multiple times. How did you let that happen? It was you, wasn't it? You were the one to give the enemy a map to the castle so they knew where the Tree of Seasons was. You are envious of the queen and her leadership and the love of the people for her. Uh, Flint responds, that's ridiculous. I loved her and this kingdom. I nearly died when that monster attacked the queen. What was the point of all this? Why go and collect the elements of life just to turn them over? What was your plan, says Captain Flint. Master Laurel says, I got hurt in the attack too, remember? We all wanted the elements to bring back the Tree of Seasons. Why did you do this? What was Rathex giving you in return for your betrayal, asks Master Laurel. The argument escalates with both trading accusations and fiery words, each defending their actions and loyalty to the kingdom. Uh, the is a typo here. The tension, maybe, becomes palpable as the two trusted figures clash. And now we do a roll. What clues? Hint at the traitor. Roll d20 plus intellect. Reminder, student. 19, excellent roll. Plus 2 as a 21. We're not a student. That's the best result anyway. You recall that a map was found in the tunnel under the castle. The map held important information as to where the Tree of Seasons was. 
The trader must have given this to the insects. However, you never told anyone about this map. Uh, I feel like we told... <laughs> I feel like we told people about this map. I feel like we gave the map to Flint. But the calendar's telling us we didn't. Also, both Master Laurel and Captain Flint were injured in the fight when Rathex infiltrated the castle and attacked the Queen, but Captain Flint supposedly couldn't recall what happened in the fight. Wasn't Master Laurel's right arm injured in the fight? I don't know what it's trying to tell us with this doubtful memory of the injuries, but if it's right that we didn't tell anybody about the map, someone just claimed... Uh, you were the one Master Laurel claimed that Flint gave the enemy a map. If it's true that we never told anybody about the map, then Mas and Master Laurel knows about the map, then the traitor is Master Laurel. Accuse a traitor. You have suspected a traitor since the beginning. <laughs> we have, I, the calendar is telling us that we suspected a traitor since the beginning. Um... You will need to accuse a traitor and handle them. Who do you believe to be the traitor? Oh, we actually have four options here. Master Laurel, Captain Flint, Queen Enid herself, <laughs> or no one. Okay. Uh, I think um, if, a, if the calendar page hadn't told us that we didn't tell anybody about the map, I probably would go with no one. But if the calendar's right and I'm misremembering and we didn't tell anybody about the map, then the traitor is for sure Master Laurel. So uh, I'm going to go with what the calendar's telling us. It's telling us a lot of things about ourselves that I'm not sure are true. So we might be dealing with an unreliable narrator, but uh, so what do we do? We either go with Laurel, Master Laurel, or no one. What would Ivy do? I'm just going to roll. 1 to 10, she accuses Master Laurel. 11 to 20, she uh, she accuses no one. 1 to 10, it's Master Laurel. We're accusing Master Laurel. And that, my friends, is November 11th. So we shall say goodbye for now and find out what happens uh, when we visit Ivy and friends again on uh, tomorrow. So I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching. <laughs>